Welcome to Edina for a rainy night of soccer ahead. It's the state class 3A boys quarterfinals. The top seed and defending champion YZ taking on Lake Conference rival and Section 8 winner St. Michael Albertville. Good evening, I'm Jay Wilcox along with Sig Ligri and Sig. Attendance may be limited, but how much weather impact might there be on this game? We're not seeing a ton of wind, which is a nope. good thing, but certainly going to be a wet night. It'll be a wet night. It won't be cold. As you say, no wind to, to be concerned about. We're here at the uh, Coleman Th um, Athletic Complex in Dedina. Very nice facility. And two teams that are going to be fighting it out for the quarterfinals. Trojans undefeated this year, a couple of ties on their record. Uh, they had a couple of wins over STMA during the season, and Wyzetta had to get by a real tough team in their section final, beating Washburn by a score of 2-1. to one. That was very much a like Final Four state tournament yes. type game, and uh, they, they got the job done and got a couple goals in the first half to beat the Millers. Yeah, that, that was an exciting uh, game for them as they beat uh, Washburn. One and nothing earlier in the season to take over. No. Five to one. That's right. Five to one. I forgot the score. St. Michael Albertville winning their section. A couple of shutouts over Elk River and Moorhead and then beat Sartell St. Stephen by a score of two to one in their section championship. Second straight year in the tournament for STMA coming out of section eight, a, a building program. And we did see them against the Trojans earlier this year. So got key players to watch for in today's game. First of all, for the Knights, kind of a junior heavy team, but one of their seniors who's done some good things for them this year. Carter Miller has been able to put five goals on the board with nine assists, and they're looking for him to uh, generate some offense here this evening on a game where there might not be a ton of chances. And one of the reasons there might not be a lot of chances is our key player for the Trojans, Evan Mahan, uh, one of their senior leaders on the defensive side of the ball, also can get involved a little bit up front on uh, corner kick type situations. He's a big guy in the back. They have only allowed one live ball goal all year. They've allowed a couple of PKs, a couple of corner kicks, but in the normal course of play, only one allowed this whole season, and Evan Mahan a big reason for that. Well, we'll see the third meeting here between the Knights and the Trojans. More at stake this time. The winner goes into the semifinals, and the loser will conclude their season here tonight. It's a rainy night, as we said, but it was a good soccer matchup here. The Knights and the Trojans up next on CCX. Welcome back here. We are in Edina for state class 3A boys soccer quarterfinal round matchup here between St. Michael Albertville, STMA, and the YZ Trojans. We said the number one seed coming in and an unblemished record, not entirely unblemished, two ties, but zero losses. And you see rain in 53 and rain likely all night. We've got the Trojans girls game coming up as well against Lakeville North uh, following this game on this field and it does not look like either game is likely to escape rain. The good news is of course uh, we play on turf on all these fields but I don't think that entirely takes away the possibility of some slipping and the ball skidding around a little bit as well and you see the uh, fans who have made it here probably fewer casual fans than you might normally have had but certainly the parents and the diehard are here. Let's look at the bracket for the 3A tournament. Uh, this one on the top of the bracket there with top seed YZ. Maple Grove also undefeated. They'll be playing here on Thursday as they will take on Andover. As they're the two seed and then Minnetonka, another lake team is the three seed Woodbury and New Prague 4-5. The winner of that game will face the winner of this one next week at U.S. Bank Stadium. Those lovely first thing in the morning games. I know you have to fit them all in, but I think when the teams are used to playing in the evening and then you got an 8 a.m. game can be a little bit difficult. Yeah, that changes your body clock. 
Wyzetta's in mm. blue and St. Michael Albertville in white. I'll try to point that out a couple times tonight because obviously both of these schools have uh, nearly identical uh, colors for their uniforms in the various sports. And so it's STMA wearing the white and Wyzetta in blue. Got a junior in net, uh, Evan Collins for STMA and Caleb Wagner, the senior in goal for Wyzetta. I would think, Sig, bo for both these keepers, you, you you know, you don't want to psych yourself up, but at the same time, you've got to be a little extra careful. Slippery ball, right. you don't want to take it for granted that you can just catch it with your hands. I think you're going to see mm -hmm. them use, you know, get their chest and and uh, midsection behind a ball as much as possible tonight. We are underway as the Knights have first possession here up the right side with David Engman knocked away. It'll be a throw for St. Michael Albertville. Certainly not a lot of secrets between these two teams either after having played a couple times during this regular season. There's a header and coming out to meet it is the keeper Wagner and didn't have any hesitation coming off his line for that one. Yeah, I think for the keepers, it's gonna be keeper 101. Get the ball into your chest or into your stomach, put your arms around the ball so it doesn't come slipping out. Throw here for Wyzetta. Header, a couple headers up the line and then eventually went out off the head of uh, Ben Isinger there. So throw here for the Knights. Yeah, temperature wise, things could be worse. I mean, we've certainly had games in this round uh, of the state play or section finals where it's very cold. With, it's not really the case here tonight. Judicus trying to play that one through and come get it, but Evan Collins will scoop it up here for STMA. I think good for him and, and for uh, also for Wagner to be able to get a couple touches on the ball early too. You don't want to be down there just kind of hanging out in the rain and, and uh, never get to see the ball for a while and now it's Wagner's turn to scoop one up as they try to through ball there that deflected up to him. Knights like to play a control game too. Now it comes long. Judica's coming for it in. Out to meet him was Collins and there'll be a throw as Collins has to quickly retreat to his net. Well he came way out there but made a good good stop. This one's going to be a corner kick up coming here as that cross was blocked. And so why is that a watch? Collins coming out here to meet Judicus. And then, of course, the ball gets away, and right there he, you know, correctly realizes I can no longer play this with my hands. Right, and he has to get the pressure off and go out over the touchline. Charlie Piller with the corner here. Knocked around a little bit in front. Collins coming way out again, and he'll distribute. And that one got out a little too far out front, and Ignatius sent it back, and they try to work that left side again. And might have been a handball there, I think. Let's see, we got a call going against the Knights. Nope, against Wyzetta. Like that. So free kick here for St. Michael Albertville. A rising power in a lot of sports. I mean, they've been good in, in uh, some sports for a long time, but obviously you can start to kind of add soccer to things here with their back-to-back -back state tournament appearances. And, uh, you know, a tough schedule since they moved into the lake, there's no mm -hmm. doubt. So their record isn't going to wow anybody at 9 and 10. But I think, uh, you know, the teams in the lake definitely do respect them. Yeah, they're very competitive. There's an attack coming down the left side. They were able to shield Maverick Neef off of that one and then sent out a play. It'll be a throw coming here for the Knights. So Miller takes it. Rain continuing to come down and, um, you know, the... In some ways, I guess, though, once you get used to it, you, you know, it's like once you're wet, you're wet. You're yep. probably not going to be bothered too much by it anymore. And I think they'd be more focused on traction and, and uh, slippery yeah, soccer I agree, ball. I would agree. That's the part that, that could be an issue here. Throw in for Carter Ranweiler. And again, um, I think it's fair to say that turf it certainly has some advantages over grass on a night like this. 
but at the same time, it's still very possible to, to slip around a little bit on this surface too. Yeah, I noticed that the ball is moving pretty, pretty well on the surface. Yeah, it does seem to be it. Yeah. Uh, I think the thing that you worry about is maybe it's skidding. Oh, here's a race for it out front. Collins coming way out. And again, he was outside the box eventually there as he won the race with Isinger for that one. Wow. Whew, he is That's not shy about coming out, is <laughs> no, he? No, not at all. If you're a coach, you're having a minor heart attack. But he came out there, was very aggressive. Stopped the uh, the attack. Cordero trying to go up that right side, knocked out. It'll be a throw coming here for the Knights. As you see, Collins very aggressive here, sliding out. And again, he was very near to the edge of the box, and then eventually came out beyond that even. But at that point, no longer uh, could play it with the hands, of course. And there's that cross lined up on the back of the net. Corner as a corner right kick up coming for the Trojans again. And uh, obviously, as we've talked about in many games, these can be kind of the difference makers. You don't want to give up too many corners or free kicks. Now all the way across it comes, and here's a shot and a goal. Wyzetta will get on the board first. Judicus burying it as... Widman tried to line it up, didn't get a real clean attempt at it, but then it winds up with Aiden Judicus, and he is able to finish it off. So just 540 in, the Trojans get on the board. Didn't come directly off the corner kick, but it certainly played a part in how this one started out. You see they were almost like 2 on 0 there, and then... A late charge from Collins, and it almost maybe helped them that Widman sort of mishit that one. It ended up being like a pass, which Collins wasn't right. expecting. Yeah, he was not in position to get that one. So Judicus striking first for Wyzetta. The, the Knights kind of got um, a little overloaded protecting the middle and the near side on that, on that, cro on that uh, corner, and the... We're a little outmanned on the left side there, and Wyzetta able to take advantage. And here's a rip that'll go just wide. And again, yeah, maybe it's a little lucky because Widman was attempting a shot and just mishit it. But still, the fact that they had uh, two guys right. that were more or less unmarked over there, yes. that, that's uh, a concern if you're the Knights. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can't, you can't let players like that be unmarked. Strong header by Widman there, and... Trying to set up again. I think they're not going to catch up to this one. It'll be a goal kick. I'll tell you, why is that as being uh, very aggressive, goal pressing kick. fairly hard? Yeah, and they've really attacked, um, you know, kind of with some direct balls, too. They're not necessarily waiting to, you know, to work it in from the wings. If, no. if an opportunity presents itself, they're going straight at the goal. Boy, and I think it... I don't know if there's, you know, pressure as the number one seed or defending champ or all that, but I think it takes a little bit of that away when you're able to get one early like that too. Ooh, and there's a battle in the air on that long crossing pass. It'll just be a goal kick as Knights were maybe hoping that they might call a foul there as uh, Alex uh, Hernandez was up in the air and ended up on the ground there. Uh, that pass was a little over his head. So Wagner will take the goal kick here for Wyzetta. Trojans an early lead on the goal by Aiden Judicus shortly after a corner kick. Koivu Kangas ran that one down. Now they send it outside looking again for Koivu Kangas. And this will be another goal kick. So Collins will put his foot to it. He's been busy early. He made some aggressive plays to come way out. The first couple worked out his way, and then the, the goal was a little bit different, obviously, but they were able to slip one by him. Cordero speeding up that right side. Turned back, but stays with it. Now they're going to serve one in. Oh, Collins runs into his teammate. And that one almost created a opportunity off a little ricochet there. He was he was on a good line to get to that ball, but I think maybe I'm guessing his defender didn't perhaps hear him call him off. 
and was uh, more or less in the way there. Could be, but that's a good point. It's the responsibility of the keeper to talk to his defense of what he wants them to do. So it could have been a miscommunication there. We have a we have a foul on player down. Right there, Tyler Scripp took the worst of that one and got knocked down. Be a free kick here for the Knights. And I. Oh, are we having a yellow card issued? Yeah. We are to script, it looks like. I have to assume for complaining that there wasn't maybe more called on Moisetta there. Interesting. I'm guessing that they maybe want a little explanation here as he was the player who was fouled, and then I'm thinking it had to be more of what he said. Yeah, verbal. Is. Yeah. Anyway, a throw in for the Knights. Sent ahead, but a nice step up there, but Trojans will get it right back. Now STMA working it up their left side. Couple of nice moves, then it was interrupted, but still an opportunity at near the top of the box. And boomed on out of there. That one will, well, it might stay in play. Koivu Kangas <laughs> runs it down. Thought that one that's, was going to go out. Drop the pass like back. And now he goes to get it. Here is his shot, and that one will sail up over the net. Kind of felt like a lot of people were expecting that ball to go out, like I kind of was, but it had some a little spin on it and stayed in, and he went and got it. So I wonder if the, uh, if the water on the field slowed down not Slowed it down just enough for him to catch up. Yeah, it seemed like it. And uh, boy, it's certainly raining harder now than when the game started. Pass knocked down. It's not helping our vision up here too with that weather. So we'll do our best to identify players a little harder to see numbers than uh, maybe it would be on a normal night here, but that one knocked out of play, a throw coming for the Knights as they try and bounce back from this early 1-0 deficit. Again, sent way up the line. Koivu Kangas trying to shield the defender and get to it. Does end up possessing it there, although they were able to keep him from full on going toward net. Cordero's long cross knocked away there. Widman stepping up. That one knocked away. And a little back pass taken away by Ignatius. Yeah, they had a good transition going there, but then gave it up on the pass. Yeah, the Knights have done a few good things early mm -hmm. on. Uh, they're not playing real poorly, but Wyzetta's gotten some of the early chances. And Obviously capitalized on the one, the early goal by Aiden Judicus. Free kick here, and Mahan will just send it over to Widman. I think he tried to redirect, but there was nobody there. Collins with a punt. Driving that one low, it was knocked down at midfield, and then a nice ball low. Oh, maybe not. They got a little too much on that. I was going to say a lot of room over there for David Engman, but they couldn't put, quite put it on him. And I think stopping and starting can be a little bit tricky tonight too, with the you know all that water on the field. If you and I think that happened there a little bit. Player got caught flat-footed and couldn't get the wheels turning quite as quick as maybe normal. Pillar working his way through. They'll come right side. Cordero looking to get a step. He's got good wheels. Putting it out front, and Collins with Koivu Kangas right on the doorstep there, able to get possession of that one. I think he bobbled it a little bit, but he was right on the spot and picked it up. 
Collins gets a lot of leg into this one. They're going to head it back to the keeper here, and Caleb Wagner out to grab it up here for the Trojans. Played about 13 minutes of soccer here in the Rain at Edina. It is Wyzetta leading St. Michael Albertville 1 0 here in the state class 3A quarterfinals. Another one coming in. Uh oh, this one could be trouble. Wagner reaching up for it, and he's able to stay in play there, too, and not give them an easy corner. That's a tough play for a keeper. It's way up in the air, and he's backpedaling towards the the goalpost. And keep in mind, you're kind of looking into some rain, too. That yep. adds to the uh, anxiety a little bit, perhaps, there. The, the only good thing for the Trojans was the uh, on, oncoming night wasn't quite close enough to really bother him there. Now St. Michael Albertville pushing it again up their right side, but that one broken up by Widman. Play it out to the outside. And again, both teams looking to really spring some people with some long passes, too, trying to go direct. Clay Bukangas tapping that one toward Judicus, but knocked away there by Noah Schmoyer. Played into the YZ zone and not any Knights that were close enough to do much with that. And let's see, it's going to be a goal kick. They were doing, trying their best. It was kind of a tweener there. And it was hard to decide for the defenders, okay, what are we going to do with this one? Knock it out, or do we have room to get to it ourselves? And it'll be a goal kick as there's Tyler Baker. And you get a look on some of those closer up shots, just how wet it is right there. New Jersey starts to feel like it's double the weight of normal. And, and more importantly, the ball, I would think, has to be picking some of that water up, too. One would think so. Lofted ahead, Koi Vukangas. He's done a lot of running since coming in as they've uh, played some long balls toward him. Header to the middle of the field here, Knights get back and keep their shape pretty well there. And then that pass, though, broken up. Or, or, uh, Judicus, no, I'm sorry, that's an opportunity almost for Redmond there. Nice recovering well. Ignatius picks it up. Knocked away on the outside. And it'll be a throw for Wyzetta. Now on for Wyzetta. Number 11, Thomas Tysing. Number 12, Gunnar Hendrickson. Uh, Tysing coming in along with Gunnar Hendrickson. Hendrickson had a goal against Armstrong in that uh, semifinal of Section 6 uh, after Saturday afternoon game that we did. Koivu Kangas drops the pass off, and that shot was deflected. Nope, going to be a goal kick. Just uh, off the YZ player apparently there. So pretty good idea, though. They got I like the setup they had working. There was a look at Tysing as Evan Collins, who's had a lot of work in the early going here, will boot this one away for the Knights. Chase back, and then a kind of a dangerous pass across the middle there. Ingman met it, but the Trojans will get it. Wow. Strong moves up the left side, and then that shot attempt is blocked. It'll be a corner upcoming for Wyzetta. Yeah, I think he did it on purpose to ricochet off the leg and get the corner. Again, Wyzetta scored not directly off a corner, but shortly after. Oh, this one deflecting off a defender, and that one looked like it might sneak in. But fortunately for the Knights, there was another body there to help break that up. As Tysing will come all the way across field and take this corner.
And Widman went up for it, couldn't quite get to it. It's over his head, and it'll be a throw for St. Michael Albertville. But again, you don't want to keep giving up corners if you're the no, Knights. No, not, not at this stage of the season. And you have a team that's very adept at scoring on set plays. Whoops. Almost a takeaway now. Tyson does get it. His pass, though, is blocked. Job staying with it there by Aiden Dyer. Bounced ahead. Koi Bukanga's trying to volley that one. He comes over and gets it. And this will be a throw for the Knights way down in the corner. Volleyed out front and then mishit a little bit by the defender. Redmond crossing it there, knocked out. Had the right idea. Widman tripping it back in. That's again off a defender. Battle for it there, but it'll get out of play and a throw for Wyzetta. They was that is really being aggressive. The Knights have been able to, to escape out a couple of times, but most of the play has been down on their defensive third. Another throw up coming here for the Trojans, and we say it in a lot of games, but again, hats off to the ball chasers tonight. Yes. You know, not a wonderful evening to be out there, but. They are playing a key role in keeping things going. Ooh, a couple of defenders collide on that pass. Now Widman going to chip one in. High cross, header to the front, but it goes wide. It'll be a goal kick. But again, Collins kind of not loving to see these uh, relatively um, un, un, uh, encumbered crosses being allowed to be made. There's Asher Novak coming in there for the Knights. Just past the halfway point now of this first half. one nothing Wyzetta. They got a goal in the sixth minute from Aiden Judicus. Wyzetta's definitely had the better of the play. I don't I wouldn't say they've um, you know completely dominated, but they've definitely had the ball in the night's end. Here's Redmond again looking to attack. Left footed cross. It's out front of turnaround try and a goal. Wow. Wow, what a beautiful reception of that ball by Koivu Kangas as he was able to stop it with his foot and then rip a turnaround shot. That was beautiful. Redman and Koi Bukangas have both been playing very well tonight, and now it shows up on the scoreboard. That was a perfect cross, timed just right. I, I just love the way he caught this pass. Watch as he turned and just... Boom. No wasted motion at all. He knew where the net was, found the corner. But Redman, he's been so dangerous coming up this left side, too. Watch that beautiful what a, pass. That was just gorgeous. Just stopped it with the foot, turned, and scored. Oh, I'll tell you what, that's a nice goal. Whatever level of the state tournament or section or whatever, that's a big goal, but it's a very nicely played shot and reception of that pass by Koivu Kangas. He has come ready to play here tonight since coming in. He's been bothersome for the Knights already. Yeah, he's been uh, quite the antagonizer. Widman. Fighting for the ball, getting the crosses over. Sorry. Widman will take the throw in here for YZ as they've built the lead now to two to nothing. And that one deflecting. Comes all the way back to Widman, who will launch one in. And Collins was coming out. Knights don't panic, though, and keep the ball moving. Well, their job just became harder here to, you know, coming back from one down doesn't, isn't, but uh, there's still a lot of time to go, but obviously uh, against a Wyzetta team that doesn't generally allow a lot of good chances, um, certainly that two-goal deficit looks a little bigger now if you're the Knights, but the good news is, as we said, we got a lot of time. Yes, we do. Throw in there up the line, got away from Jackson Bean. And then knocked out by the Knights. It'll be a throw here for Wyzetta. 
They're going to make a substitution, it looks like. Cordero will come back in. And Redmond will check out. And I'm going to say Redmond's not going out because he wasn't playing well. <laughs> That's for sure. He's been uh, generating some good stuff for them. Here's an opportunity and a shot. Ooh, that'll sail high. Isinger. Not a bad idea there. No, it he, was, he was a bit out on the field, but uh, you know, right. looking for that top corner. Actually, it was a pretty good attempt. He was trying to get a little bit of a hook on it and try and curve it in, but it didn't quite work. But it was certainly a good idea. Yeah, I don't mind that shot at all. Oh, there's a nice takeaway by Cordero. And a little behind Isinger as they weren't quite on the same page there. Oops. Ouch. That one hurt his trip up there, and I think it was not on purpose. You see good sportsmanship there. Anthony Arroyo Nunez got there hmm. just a little bit late and got into the leg and trip pillar up. So free kick here for the Trojans. Pillar will take it. And they have kind of picked up where they left off. They were good in that section tournament. They've been good all year. And that one ripped just wide of the net. It'll be a goal kick for Evan Collins and the Knights. Now on for the Knights. Number two. STMA uh, did play here earlier, uh, as did Wyzetta, of course, uh, uh, with Edina being in the late conference. So that part's kind of nice for both these teams. They've, you know, not unfamiliar with the field. Uh, Edina beat St. Michael Albertville one nothing in each of their regular season matchups. <laughs> and uh, for the Trojans, they had a one nothing win over Edina. Throw in here. A little bit of physical play, but we play on. And that, that's one part. It's been a, a good, clean game for the most part. I mean, yeah, you're going to get some contact and things like that, but I think both of these teams kind of play soccer the right way. You're not, yep. you're not looking, going out body hunting or anything. And um, I think that part has been solid they've acquitted themselves well in terms of playing hard but clean that pass knocked away and ooh, Whitman stumbling a little bit but got the ball up pillar trying to sneak one through for Koivu Kangas they just didn't quite connect and it goes all the way through back to Collins I like that. That was a longer pass, but it was pretty much on target, just a little bit off. Yeah, and they I, they, they found the seam there a yeah. little bit in the defense, too. I wouldn't, I wouldn't hesitate to come back to that because I think it was there. Yep, I agree. Widman chipping it up that line. Again, does a nice job of spinning the ball to keep it in play. And then the Knights clear it out. It'll be a throw that... And the fans, and I actually thought it hit the Wyzetta player also. As the, you can see, the Knights definitely thought so as he turned to, to clear and thought it had glanced off the nearest Wyzetta player, but I, that's not the call that they're going to get. So Widman will throw it in here for the Trojans. Goes down toward that corner. Pillar turns around and then his pass knocked away. Keeps battling for it. Wow. Pillar putting it out front. Try to turn around. That one knocked away. Knights just need a clear badly here. And now they will get it. I was going to say, whoever has the first opportunity to drive the ball out, they need to do it because there was a... It was getting scary. Yeah, a lot of traffic out front there. It's a lot of ball movement, a lot of blue jerseys around the goal area. Ron Myler will take this throw here for the Knights as they trail it 2 0 here, about 13 and a half to go in the first half. St. Michael Albertville in white, Wyzetta in blue here, a state quarterfinal matchup on CCX Sports. Watch for the Wyzetta girls' quarterfinal game as well as they take on Lakeville North. Throw in coming for the Trojans. 
Redmond will come back in. Ignatius will come back in. And right now, you you know, at this point, I mean, every night's a different night, but you kind of have your substitution patterns yes. kind of the way you'd like them, I think. And, uh, again, can vary with, with uh, game situation and maybe who's tired or if somebody gets nicked up a little bit. But you kind of have, uh, you know, coming into the night, figured out who you'd like to use and what spots and for how long. Redmond going out to the line here with it. Koi Bukangas. And he'll draw, not a corner, but at least a throw in there as he's pretty well defended by Talon Signs there for the Knights. But Trojans will get a throw. Jackson Widman will take it. Long throwing into the middle, and it was knocked down. Widman right there to pick that one off on the clearing attempt. Knocked away, but it'll be another Wyzetta throw. Widman is a very valuable guy. He seems very strong with the left foot, too, on this left side. So good all-around player for them. And that throw got by everyone. So a goal kick coming for the Knights as they will make a substitution here. As Hernandez will come back into the STMA lineup here. Collins driving that one out just shy of midfield. Then a header pushes it forward. Knocked away there from Judicus, but it'll be a throw again for Wyzetta. They've really been successful at kind of pinning the Knights in their own mm -hmm. end. Uh, even when they you know, aren't able to get something going directly, they've been able to at least get throw-ins and just kind of keep possession and keep them pinned. Yeah, they've been uh, pretty much camped out on the Knights' defensive third. That one across that got all the way to the keeper, Collins. He's going to roll it up the left side. Nice distribution. Let's see if they can transition to a good offense. Yeah, quick no. takeaway. That's the midfield has been pretty well controlled yes. by Wayzata. When you look at you know how how are they getting these possessions? It's a lot of times reading plays well, getting takeaways, and then just kind of converting calmly into their offensive look. And there's another example as Ignatius stepped in there. But the Knights send it long here. Be cleared out of play by Mahan. It'll be a throw for St. Michael Albertville. First time they've had the ball uh, deep in Wyzetta's end for a while. Hernandez will trigger it in here for STMA. As we reach 10 minutes to play in this opening half, 2 0 YZ our score. Hernandez trying to keep it in up the line, but couldn't quite do so. And it'll be a YZ throw in as they will be subbing. Kobe Stuhlman will come back in now, or will come in for the Trojans. Pillar trying to knock it upfield, but taken away instead. And now Miller, they tap it ahead. Ooh, a couple of nice passes, but then the third one couldn't quite control it. It'll be a goal kick here for Wyzetta. The Knights now will bring in a couple of fresh bodies off their bench. As Arroyo Nunez will come back in and also there's Merrick Dalton 22 coming in for STMA. Wagner putting his foot into this one. Knights get up for first touch on that header though. Gonna switch over to the left side now as some room to work with out there. Long cross is denied and it will be a throw for the Knights. You see the rain is not really letting up any. We see no. it a little easier to see on that uh, tighter camera shot there that it's uh, it's still coming down, that's for sure. It's relentless. Good work defensively Boy, there was, to get that ball away. Wasn't it a nice turnaround shot? 
Hernandez playing it up the line. A little give and go, but it got away. Oops, Mahan mishits that one as he slipped. So it'll be a throw for STMA. Boy, they would love to get one late in the half to oh. just kind of cut that lead. and yep. Yeah, get back in the game, switch some momentum. Ooh. Whoa, there's an example <laughs> of how slick the ball can get. That's not a fault on the player. It is slippery. Hernandez did a good job of getting him, his body back under control and not having an errant throw there. Pillar, give it out to Redmond. Widman, nice ball ahead there. Now Redmond taking that pass. Knocked away from him. It'll be a throw, though, for Wyzetta. Wow, their passing is just incredible right now. Widman will trigger this one in. Knights have played better, I would say, the last, what, five, six, seven minutes. Yes. They're starting to even things out a lot more in terms of just the overall play. And up the left side, not quite going to be able to keep that one in. Good effort. And they're, you know, the fact they've already played Wyzetta twice, they they didn't come into this one, you know, not knowing how good their opponent was. That, no. that, that's kind of obvious to them that, that they, it wasn't going to be easy tonight, but they have come out and competed well. This uh, Wyzetta has gotten a couple. There's Dominic Duenas. Shorts still tonight here well, in the rain, of course. Rain, of course. Trademark. <laughs> I remember we were doing this game in the winter and he had shorts on. <laughs> Long pass across. Trojans come up with it. And he is the ultimate, and then we're not looking ahead past anybody kind of coach. I mean, it's, he knows what can happen. Uh, these oh, yeah. state tournament games, particularly when you factor in weather, I mean, it's right, the, and the, the team that, you know, outplays the other doesn't always win. There's Tomas Rodriguez doing a nice job in the STMA program as well. And, uh, you know, he has a lot of, they both teams have a lot of respect for each other too. And we said know each other well with these uh, couple of meetings this season. And win or lose, it's a good opportunity just to get your program into a state tournament. Yes, it get, is. Get players thinking about that, get players wanting that, expecting right. that. And then wanting more. Chipped ahead there, Redmond banging it upfield. Long run for this one, and the Knights will just let it go out of play there as and that will give them a throw in here as we approach five to go in the first half. Aiden Judicus and Lassie Koivokanga scoring for YZ. They lead it two to nothing in a solid performance here in this state quarterfinal. Ignatius. Volleying that one ahead. Nice control there to keep it down on the field, though, and the Knights come back with good aggression back the other way. Not for long, though, is that pass broken up. Sent up the line, and that one really hugs the line <laughs> all the way upfield. It's still inbounds. And it will be a goal kick there. As a, I'm sure Schmoyer was looking at thinking, that's going to go out, isn't it? Oh, I guess I'd better run. <laughs> Kept waiting for it to go over the line, and it never did. Hernandez is going to bang it upfield here for the Knights. Headed out of there. Judicus, that pass, not sure if it was kind of in between two players. Ignatius might have played the one that wasn't meant for him. And broken up here by Hernandez, but it'll be a throw for YZ. Widman getting set to take the throw in. Judicus spinning around a defender, almost got pass, but Taken instead, here's Neef dropping it back there for Dalton. Nice rotation here for the Knights. 
And then knocked away. It'll be a throw for STMA. Again, they've done some good things. You'd yes. like that sequence of passes right there. Yeah, that was very good. They just aren't getting enough of them because Wyzetta isn't getting pretty tough on defense. Yeah, the, you just, the Trojans, you don't see them get out of position very often defensively. No. And that's, you know, so you complete a couple of nice passes and then the next one, a lot of times there's somebody there to at least get a foot on it and interrupt things a little bit. Right, you can see the back four up on the 15-yard line. As soon as the attack comes their way, they shift backwards and, and shift towards where the players are in unison. That one hammered out of there as Wyzetta tried to pounce on it again. Redmond tr trying to turn and go there, and they go shoulder to shoulder, and play goes on. That's like you were saying before, there's a lot of physical contact, but nothing uh, outrageous. Oh, that one very near to a handball. Neef trying to cut between two defenders. Hmm, I'm not so sure they didn't miss one there. And that shot will go wide. Let's see, are we going to have a corner? Looks like we will. Boy, I really thought that could have been a handball called against the Trojans, and it also, I believe, would have been inside the box which would have meant a penalty kick, but didn't get it. Carter Miller will take it here for STMA. And a strong header to knock that one out of there. Knights again trying to push forward and see if they can't get something dangerous here late. Ooh, that one took a funny bounce and almost an opportunity there near the top of the box, but instead it's cleared out. One minute remains in the first half. So we go under a minute to play in this opening half. Still 2-0 YZ. Hernandez working real hard there, got the pass ahead. He had been uh, banged around a little bit earlier, and that time he's like, I'm going I'm to be the aggressor here, and he won that ball. Chipped ahead long here and a nice header back defensively. Half minute to play in the first half. St. Michael Albertville trying to get one last push up field and then instead almost a turnover there. That Will be a handball as it deflected up into the hand there of uh, Stuhlman. So a free kick here for STMA, but they are going to run out of time here to do anything more with it as the first half will come to an end. And a good first half for the top seed, YZ. Judicus and Koivu Kanga scoring for the Trojans. Our halftime score here on a rainy night in Edina. Wyzetta 2, St. Michael Albertville nothing. First half highlights and stats coming up next. CCX Media is the first place you go for local news and sports. But did you know you can sign up for those stories to go straight to your inbox on our website? Simply go to ccxmedia.org. Click on the subscribe button, and from there, choose which notifications you want to receive. Then we'll send your favorite CCX Media news, sports, and city events straight to your inbox. Sign up now at ccxmedia.org. We're at halftime of our Class 3A boys quarterfinal. Wyzetta leading St. Michael Albertville two to nothing here at Edina on a rainy night. Check out highlights from that opening half and it didn't take Wyzetta long to uh, establish some uh, territorial dominance here. And this pass comes all the way across. Widman actually mishits it and that leaves it for Judicus and he's able to bury it 540 into the match. They get another opportunity here. Koivu Kangas trying to strike that one from out wide right and miss hit it just a little bit. Missed it. Here's an opportunity. Watch this when it clears up off. The Knights player there, but 
Wagner arranging over to grab it. And then here's, watch this great play by both guys. Redmond taking on two defenders. Clay Bukanga stops it, turns, oh. scores. Oh, you're not going to find too many better high school goals than that one. That'll be a high school real shot. And you take a look at the stats from the first half. And as the numbers say it, two to nothing on the goal. Shots of mine to one. Shots on goal, three to nothing. Fouls four to three. Corner kicks four to one in favor of the Trojans. So on, on paper and the scoreboard, they're doing quite well. Yeah, in a lot of ways, seeing uh, the half that maybe we thought we'd see, Wyzetta definitely having the better of it. Knights doing some good things. They're not out of it, but nope. uh, facing a little bit of a challenge here down two to nothing. We will come back with more, our second half of soccer. Thanks for joining us. A rainy evening, as you can see, at Edina. CCX Media is the first place you go for local news and sports. But did you know you can sign up for those stories to go straight to your inbox on our website? Simply go to ccxmedia.org. Click on the subscribe button, and from there, choose which notifications you want to receive. Then we'll send your favorite CCX Media news, sports, and city events straight to your inbox. Sign up now at ccxmedia.org. And welcome back to Edina. As you can see, the rain is coming down as hard as ever here. 2 nothing. YZ leading STMA as we get set for half number two here. And you kind of, yeah, you kind of uh, regroup a little bit. And raining cats and dogs, <laughs> that's, uh, I don't know if that's the technical term, but it's very true out here. And I, I think... I think for both teams, you don't necessarily want a long halftime. You want to get back out there and play, and so you're not, you know, getting all uh, even colder and all that kind of thing. So um, teams regrouping and getting after it. I mean, I like the way STMA played late down the stretch of that half. Here comes Wyzetta right away and didn't quite connect as Cordero came rushing in trying to play that cross. I mean, the Knights certainly did some good things later in the half there after Wyzetta had taken that 2 nothing lead, though. Yeah, that will woke them up a little bit, but we'll see how they come out in the second half. They need to be wary on their defense because Wazette is getting in there, making those crosses, and that's cr creating fits. Sent way across to Cordero there, knocked away. Pillar will chip it over left side, but that one is denied on the header. Yeah, and just the... The overall flow and getting those corners and everything, too, it, for Wyzetta certainly makes them feel good about the way that uh, this game is kind of set up. I mean, the, the ball's been in the night's end so much that even when Wyzetta's chances fizzle out, they've right. still possessed it and made them work defensively. Pillar will line this one up right near the sideline. Going to go low on the ground with it, a redirect by Koivu Kangas, and it'll be a goal. Well, we've wow. been, we said in the first half, you got to be really careful on these set plays because they can kill you. So Koivu Kangas will get his second of the night. Everybody on a play like that, it's almost like a, a corner. Everybody's kind right. of expecting it to be lofted in on a high cross. Instead, he goes low with it, and Koivu Kangas just stuck his foot out to redirect it. Nicely played. Another look as he meets that ball, and the Knights are kind of at that point looking around, hoping maybe it's offside, but it was not. So he gets his second of the night. And got a corner kick up coming here again for Wyzetta. They, uh, you get the feeling that they were told at halftime, we haven't won anything yet. No let up. You got to come just as hard here in half two. Yeah, and that's a key factor because sometimes a, a team will, will kind of back off a little bit and relax because they, you know, they're ahead two to nothing. Pillar to take the corner here. Chipping it out front, ooh, and 
Collins got up, knocked it down, but he was first to be able to grab that one. Wyzetta showing why they've been able to stay undefeated and were number one for a, a portion of the season. And, you know, it's a, a lot of new guys have worked into the lineup. It's not exactly the same team by any stretch as they won the title with last year. They had some really outstanding guys who graduated, but a deep program, a hungry program yes. still. Yes, I, was, I was really impressed the other day. I was at a uh, morning practice on Friday. And it's a beautiful day out. It's MEA. A lot of teams are kind of nonchalant on those kind of days, but they were not. They were they were working. They were getting yep. after it. And you, you, it it shows in their play. They're very serious. They're very balanced. They're very disciplined. They don't panic when something goes in the opposite direction. They just react and then come back and do a transition and put the pressure right back on the other team. So it'll be Wyzetta's throw here. Yeah, and you, in a, in a you know a school that large with as many people who come out for soccer, you have to earn your spot out there. So if you're somebody who isn't always hustling or isn't a team player or whatever, you're not going to play. And that's that's the kind of the hammer the coaches can hold hold over you a little bit sure. too. Here they come after forcing the turnover right up the middle. It's knocked over to the side. Koi Bukangas, oh, he's looking for the hat trick. And that one might have been easier than the other two, but he had it go off the side of his foot a little bit as Collins was coming out. And you see the... the see if he places the left foot. No. <laughs> so he couldn't get a solid, solid contact on it, but he's still smiling. He knows he had a... A great opportunity and made a good effort. And I think they're probably kidding him a little bit that that one was easier than the other two, <laughs> the but other yeah. did not go. But remains 3 nothing Trojans and almost was four. First pass denied, so they go again, this time offside. So free kick here for the Knights. Well, exactly what they didn't need, that early goal for Wyzetta. I mean, you, you know, like we said, at halftime, you're down to a tough uphill battle, but you're still in it and everything. But then that early, another early goal, this one even earlier than the goal they got in the first half. That, hard not to have that take the wind out of your sails a little bit if you're the team that, that's trailing like STMA. Well, especially when you're just coming out into the second half, you've had your, your discussion with the coaching staff, you know, what you're trying to do, and then all of a sudden you give up a goal. Jackson Bean coming back into the match here for the Knights. Ignatius with the header and then another. Ooh, they tried to go to Judicus right up the middle there. Signs knocking that one away. Volley to head here and good composure defensively there, although it is picked up by Ranweiler and here come the Knights again. Knocked away, a throw for STMA. Ranweiler getting it in quick. Try, Miller tried to turn and go. Instead, it's knocked out. Here comes Collins out to meet it. <laughs> he better he get that thing over the touchline because he's in serious trouble here. Koi Bukanga sending one toward the net. The defender gets back to break that up. Now that was a 1v1 way out on the field. And obviously, again, Collins can't play with his hands at that point. And he is shaken up a little bit, it looks like. Holding his elbow. I didn't see him. Well, it's possible. He was diving after after the the ball. And now we have a timeout. He's hurting a little bit. See, comes right there. Might have landed with his arm extended, perhaps. I mean, yeah, right there he was holding him. the elbow, but there's a possibility it could be his shoulder, too. The way he was uh, kind of grasping that arm. Sometimes... Could be a situation where he braced his fall by putting his arm down and 
and did something to his shoulder or elbow. And for the moment, it looks like he might be going to come out. See if we can see as he falls right there. Is this where it happens? Oh, yeah, I think right so. There. The elbow yeah. kind of hyperextended. Oh, yeah. Ouch. Yeah, good good uh, work to find that on the replay and good shot by the camera. By the way, uh, not a pleasant night to be out here for our crew and thank them for all their uh, work in the rain. There's Derek Bott, the junior, will come in. Not uh, maybe the circumstance that he wanted to come in, but an opportunity to get some playing time here for Bott. I have to see if Collins will be able to come back or not. But Bott lacing him up and uh, he'll be ready to go. Throw in for Wyzetta. And a quick cross there. It bounces high up in the air and a flying try at it. Then it's chested down by the defender. Wow. Oh, somehow that ball stayed out of the net. I don't yeah. see how. Yeah, this will be a throw for the Knights. Boy, they immediately threw a test at Derek Bott there. I don't know if any of them actually got into him. A defender made one save, though. Now STMA trying to push it back up field. Ranweiler getting that pass away. And now Scripp switching fields to the right now for Hernandez. Again, some nice work here for STMA across to Ranweiler. Roar miss hitting that one a little bit, but they'll have an opportunity to go again. And then just hammer it up out of there. It'll be a throw for the Knights. Well, you can see they got the nice tents up. So at least the players who aren't in the game can stay somewhat dry, I would think, <coughs> depending on the wind there. They're probably keeping relatively dry. Koi Bukanga is trying to play it out to the left there. Nice reaction defensively. Pillar. Working it back outside. Knights get the takeaway. And then taken back though. And pass ahead. Collins coming out to meet it. It's going to be, be a, corner. a corner. As Judicus was charging in after it. and or I'm sorry, not Collins, of course. Bot came in to replace him. Pillar will take the corner. They go short with it. Now back for Pillar. Gets to the middle, firing, and that Whoa. one skips off the crossbar. It's going to be a corner as it did hit a defender as well. So a corner on the other side now. Boy, a game of inches there. That one nearly went in. He just went over to the top of the crossbar. You yep, see the there right there hitting off the off. backside of Scrip. And doink off the crossbar. Here they come again. That shot deflecting wide and will be another corner kick for Wyzetta. Oh, they can't keep giving these up. You're playing with fire here. Pillar getting set to take it. Bot hoping to have smooth sailing in the middle of that group. Now they do sometimes go short with these too. Gonna serve one in, and the header, that one's off the crossbar, Widman. Holy mackerel. <laughs> so you figure Wyzetta has three goals and probably at least three more that we're almost in. His Widman has been pretty deadly with headers this year, and that one, Heading it off the ground and almost put it right where he wanted to. Instead, just a touch too high and off the crossbar. Ignatius gaining control here for Wyzetta. Now they send one direct up the middle. It's going to be Bot coming for it. It's a lot of leg into that one.
And banged up the line. That one deflecting over. They're going to play it back to the keeper, Bot. Ignatius steps in to win that ball nicely. And then the return pass, though, taken away by Carter Miller. Good step up by Baker. And now Judicus leaving it. He'll get a return. And knocked away from Judicus. It'll be a throw for Wise. Uh, no, let's see. No, it got, got Judicus's heel on the way out. Be a throw for the Knights, I think. Nope, actually, it was right the first time. Throw for Wyzetta. Widman taking the throw here for the Trojans. And that one knocked back out of there. It'll get out. Throw coming for Wyzetta. They are in command, leading at 3-0 here. 28 minutes to go in the second half, trying to advance into the semifinal round. Again, Wyzetta fans watch for the Trojans girls against Lakeville North on CCX as well on a delayed basis here per high school league rules in the uh, quarterfinal round here at State. Judicus. That pass denied. Knights trying to turn it back the other direction here. Roar will keep it rolling out left. Ranweiler sending it up. Good work there by Alex Crane. And then sent up the line and it will go out. Throw for STMA. Substitution coming in. Now on for the Knights, nice number 10, Anthony Arroyo Nunez. Anthony Arroyo Nunez coming back into the STMA lineup as Ranweiler will take the throw in. Long throw. Ooh, that one got through the first wave of defenders there, but... And we have this one whistled down. Yeah. It's a, was it a handball? I I think it might have been. Uh, looks well, like they're having they him do the throw-in again. Oh, okay. Improper throw-in, yeah. And that one deflecting, but right to Caleb Wagner. Wagner got, you know, had a few touches on the ball early, but hasn't really had any work to speak of basically all night. I mean, no. they, they just haven't had any real shot attempts, uh, you know, a couple deflections and whatnot. But that pass broken up. Here's Redman quickly pouncing on it. Stepping in, he'll rip a shot. Ooh, and Bot has to knock it down and then hang on. Kwevu Kangas was there waiting. Kind of what we talked about in the pregame, you want to be sure of, and that's what Bot tried to do there, make sure he just kind of knocked that down. You don't want to, you know, assume you can catch that wet ball and let it slip through your fingers. The thing about that is, though, a lot of times plays like that are just reaction plays, right. and, you you know, you don't want to be sitting thinking about it too much either. Nice job to take that one away by signs, and here come the Knights. Play it up the line. I like their short passing. Again, they've yep. connected on a lot of nice passes, but just when they get into Wyzetta's third, something generally breaks down with the help of defenders. Get a throw coming up here for Wyzetta. Tyler Baker will trigger this one in. Pillar looking to turn and go. He's going to draw a corner out of that one. Good effort. Now if you can't get a shot, get a corner.
Pillar will go short with it. Here's an opportunity now. Redmond sending it out front. And they just couldn't get a direct hit on wow. that one. And now cleared out by the Knights. Ball was bouncing around among the defenders and nobody can get a, get a uh, foot on it. That one looked like it was going to be another goal there. Yep. He was, I think it was Judica's was just a few feet from the net there. It would have been a relatively easy ball if he had been able to get contact. Now here's a header bot punching that one out. And then a rising shot from Cordero will sail up over the top. Trojans, they've been efficient in terms of when they've gotten a possible shot attempt. They've generally made something of it anyway. Yes. They haven't always hit the net, obviously. But, no, but they're getting the quality shots, and that's what counts. So Bott will take this goal kick here for the Knights. Knocked ahead, ball bouncing around a little bit, and Trojan's gonna get an opportunity again. Judicus walks in and he scores. Put that ball right underneath Bott who was coming out at him. Didn't wait for a perfect shot. He read the keeper well and just slid it under him, basically. So he gets his second of the night as Koi Bukangas also has a pair of goals. There you see Judicus won that ball and then watch, he keeps his eyes up and he sees the keeper coming out at him. And at that point, there's no need to try a perfect shot. Right. Just, just hit, the, any, hit the net. Any contact, watch, he knows where the keeper is and just pushes it right past him. Beautiful shot. And he will check out there. And Dominic Duane has probably said good job, but that's about all you're going to get out, out yeah. of him while the game's going on, right? <laughs> yeah, he says, why didn't you do that before? <laughs> no, I liked that when I talked to the kids the other day, though. They, I said, boy, you guys are working hard here. And they said, our coach expects a lot of us, but it's because he knows we can be a good team. It isn't, yep. you know, it, things are done for a reason, not because you want to yell at he, people or punish them. And I don't mean to say that Dominic's a big yeller. I don't mean that. I it just, their, their whole program just has a thing where they expect hard work and they expect excellence. Right. And that's the way it ought to be. And like you said earlier, <laughs> if you don't, then you end up on the bench. Battle for it here. Tyson able to win that one back. And then here's a shot chipped up and in. How do you like that one? Another wow. goal for the Trojans as this one put away by Stuhlman. Able to chip that ball up and over. Yeah, I think uh, Bott needed to be about three inches taller in, in order to get that one over the net. Watch this. He stays with it here. And comes in and just a good strike. Yeah. Just a nice nine iron shot right past Bott. No way was he going to get to that ball. Boy, and he was really ready for it. It was hard to tell for sure if that was meant to be a pass on the deflection to him yep. or if it just was happenstance. But either way, he had it ready and teed up. Yes, he did. So now a 5 nothing lead for the Trojans. Header there is grabbed up. Why Zeta continues to come, and they, the you know players they brought in off the bench are performing as you know as well. Miles Ulrich had it there. We've got uh, Aaron Cabaya is in there, number 22 as well. And we saw that goal a moment ago from Stuhlman, who um, you know hadn't played a lot prior. He'd, he'd uh, come in in the second half here. Knights trying to regroup and see if they can't get something going of their own. Ooh, good step up there by Ulrich. And it'll be a throw for Wyzetta. Ulrich 
throwing that one into Kabaya. Overrun just a little bit by Hendricks in there. And now the return pass coming to Hendrickson, but he's pressured and had it taken. Hendrickson trying to win it back there as he battled it out with Arroyo Nunez. Now here come the Knights, deflected to the outside. And the, that ball is scooped up. Wagner doing exactly what we said before. Don't take chances letting that ball get past your gloves. Fall on it, get it into your stomach or your chest, and cradle it. He just fell on it that time. Wonder if we might see a keeper change for Wyzetta as well here. I think we might. Well, we'll see. Not just yet, but build that 5 nothing lead. Oops, that one's slipping away. <laughs> So it almost happened to the Knights, and that time it did on that throw. And an illegal throw, so it'll be St. Michael Albertville's throw in now. Now on to the Knights, number five, Alexander Hernandez, and number 19, Dow Dickerson. Engman triggering that ball back in. So Wyzetta led 2-0 at halftime, and they've tacked on three more here in the second half. Another sign of why they're a good team is that, you know, they certainly didn't sit on a lead or relax no. or anything. If anything, they came harder in the second half. What's in their, nat it's in their nature or DNA that they always play hard? Pass deflected, but gets there. And I'll try to send that one through. Ulrich broke it up. Now gathered by Reed Bolson. And he'll rotate it around left side here. Alex Kohler. Kohler firing and bought out for the save there for the Knights. And Hard to tell, you know, how much Collins is hurt, but I think certainly with the score, there's no real reason to try and bring him back anyway. You get bought the rest of the night here in net, I would think, certainly for the Knights. Yeah, that wouldn't be a bad idea. Throw in here for St. Michael Albertville. Again, they'd like to at least break the deadlock. I mean, that's, you know, you'd say you get a tournament goal. Now we do have our goalkeeping change as Ethan Kinsel will come in now for Wyzetta in goal. Number 11, Maverick Meek. Fellow senior along with Wagner. Good idea, rest Wagner. Not that he needed a whole lot of rest. He there it is, a look at Kinsel. Yeah, yeah, certainly on a, you know, on a rainy night like this too, you, you know, you don't want to take chances and have an injury. And give Kinsel some playing time. That one will get out of play, a throw for Wyzetta. Yeah, you never know when you might need your backup, too. That's the other part of it. Now here's Miller. Looking to attack for the Knights. Playing it outside to Ranweiler, but a nice step up there to break it up. Banged up field and the chase is on. Stuhlman getting to it. But nice work defensively there by Neef to run him off that one. Or I'm sorry, not Neef, but uh, Engman. Then able to shade him away so that he does get the goal kick instead of a corner kick. Anthony Davis coming in, as is Mason Nordmeyer there for St. Michael Albertville. Is obviously, in a game that's pretty well decided, you want to give everybody an opportunity to get some minutes in in a state tournament game. I don't know, Sig. It's raining hard enough that you might be tempted if you're a bench player to say, are you sure, Coach? I'm okay over here. <laughs> dry with my jacket on. No, I don't. Just kidding, of course. But. I know. <laughs> Sent That's long funny. upfield here. 
And Bot will grab it. I guess the good news is last outdoor round. <laughs> yes. You don't have to deal with this uh, going forward for the winner of the game, which certainly is going to be YZ here and the other teams that win their quarterfinal matchups. It'll be, it'll be Woodbury or New Prague. Ulrich blocking that cross. <coughs> and that game is being played at Farmington as we speak. And Bot coming way out and he'll drive that one upfield. Headed out of play there by Han Sheth for Wyzetta. A throw coming for the Knights. And knocked out of there by Bolson. Ball ahead to Tysing and then knocked away. Trying to play that one direct up the middle, but intercepted. Oops, that one blocked maybe inadvertently, but Miller was right in the way to block to knock that one out. Sent out of play. We get a throw coming here for St. Michael Albertville as Nordmeyer will trigger it in. Crane knocking that out of there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Lightning. A little lightning action. And I'm afraid we might have a delay here. <coughs> yeah, I think I just heard the horn. Ladies and gentlemen, we're in a lightning delay. Yeah, and there's the accompanying thunder. So we've got a weather delay here. The game with a five goal margin, but we will step aside here for, well, we don't know how long right now, but a timeout because of weather. Five nothing, Wyzetta. Welcome back to a very rainy and now stormy night here in Edina. This one has been declared a final as Wyzetta had a 5-0 lead with 13.39 uh, to go when we saw some lightning and they have elected, I think reasonably so, to not resume the game. So it will go down as a 5-0 final in favor of the Trojans as they got the scoring started quite early in tonight's contest. Uh, in the sixth minute of the game as Aiden Judicus able to put one away. You'll see the ball miss hit a little bit by Jackson, uh, by Whitman trying to shoot that ball. And then Judicus is right there and puts it in to give Wyzetta a 1-0 lead. And about halfway through the first half, a great goal. Redman out front, Corey Bukangas turnaround, rips it home. So it was 2-0 Trojans at halftime. And they come out strong in the second. Koi Bukangas a redirect off the free kick from Pillar. And that kind of removed any doubt, made it 3 nothing. Then they get another one here from Judicus. He tucks one in, a 4 nothing lead at that point. And then they got a young player to add one more as uh, Kobe Stuhlman will get it here as it deflects over to him. And he chips one up over the backup keeper bot who had come in after an injury to Evan Collins. So. That'll put a wrap on this one here tonight. Congratulations to the Knights. They get to the state tournament for second year row. Tough night here this evening, but again, congrats to them. Wyzetta will move on into the semifinal round where they will play in U.S. Bank Stadium on November 1st in the morning. 
Hope you've enjoyed this one here. And again, thanks for our crew braving the elements here tonight. And watch for the Wyzetta girls as well. Wyzetta 5, St. Michael Albertville nothing here in the 3A boys quarterfinals.